they can have the draft, and Lesnar's going as to Raw. <laughs> See, now that's brilliant. See, that's brilliant because that just escapes. He just escapes. It's an escape clause. Yeah. Yeah, that works because Brock's going to kill him. I agree. Brock will beat him. And then everybody might get pissed off because Brock beats Big E for the title. Too bad. You might have that confront station at WrestleMania. Right. Right? But let him bitch, though. Why don't you go let Big E lose? No, this guy's never going to show up. He never defends his title. We'll be back to those complainers. 802 wants to know if you think Finn's alter ego will beat Roman Reigns. Nope. That's it. Nope. And I have another. I have another comment too. Go ahead. Boy, oh boy, did the demon look small standing next to Roman Reigns? I don't yeah. care what kind of face paint or war paint you put on, you still look like you're half the size of the guy. That's, you know. This is. This... And also another thing too. There was something different about the demon's look this time. Not as imposing. No, it was it looked soft? What is that? Yeah, I agree. Is it the goofy haircut that he's got going on? Maybe like, he just didn't. It's a really good point, man. I was thinking the same it thing. Didn't it didn't look like feel, the demon. Right. It didn't feel like the traditional demon. Weird, right? Yeah. Weird. You know, when they stood there face to face, I was like, Roman's going to kill you. I'm not afraid. This doesn't do anything to change my, you know, a, a perception. You're right. You know? You're right. I think the Tasmanian devil would have a better shot. Wow, All that's right. really that's really a good point. Yeah, man. it was weird. It was weird. But but a great ending to the show. Killer ending to the show. And with the demon and them staring off. That's that's cool. Fade to black. So now now that's that, fine. Now that you're watching live instead of like afterwards. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Now that I got. What's your it. evaluation of Raw, SmackDown, Dynamite, and Rampage? If if you could give an evaluation to me on all four shows, what are you thinking? Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Fine. Raw recently is rebounding better i have not been thrilled with raw for quite a while now i think it's it's kind of blasé but i really did enjoy this past week i didn't mind the tag team turmoil the week before i think it's improving and i'll t- i'll leave it at that because i trying to be like a page out of matty ice here i want to be optimistic about raw it's always going to be the flagship show to me it's always it's the show i've been watching since i was a young man for god's sakes so yeah I, i'm rooting for it and it's doing better lately smackdown is great Okay, SmackDown's top shelf in my opinion. I think SmackDown is an awesome television show. Right. Week after week after week after week after week. I love it. They don't have to mess with it much. I think it's fantastic. Okay. Dynamite, I like. I think it is normally pretty good. Rampage, I got to admit, I am a little concerned with what they intend to do with it. It doesn't seem to be as much much care is being put into it or whatever the end result is it doesn't do for me what dynamite seems to do for me as a viewer rampage they got to work out a few kinks i think so and again though all right so in my opinion two of the four that you brought up are surefire pretty damn pretty damn good to great and the other two meaning raw and rampage still need some work that's pretty much my Man, take on that. 802, I'm just going to keep reading your comments. Okay, what's he got? He has got a SmackDown 1, Dynamite 2, yeah. Rampage 3, Raw 4. Interesting. I'm not ready to give Rampage number 3 yet. I'm almost going to take Rampage and Raw and call them 3 and 3A. And you can flip the order if you want to. I totally get that. They're similar to me, like show me more. That's pretty much where I'm at with those two shows. And I do enjoy... What they excuse me, folks. What they did with Raw this past week—that was excellent. We need more of that. I think there's a lot of Raw bashing going on. It's not that bad. I agree. It's not that good sometimes, no, but it's, it's been just, better it lately. It is what it is. Yeah. But isn't all? Let me tell you something. <clears throat> Almost all the shows are what they are. You know, right. SmackDown seems to have seems to be head and shoulders above everybody else. That's mm-hmm. my opinion. I do wish they would take one hour off of Raw. It's okay. You know, they that wouldn't so be a bad bucks. idea. I, I yeah. really wish they would do that. Keep if they them did coming. That, I'm telling you, Raw would be fantastic if it was two hours. It's that extra third hour. It's really hard to sit there for three hours because half the time, half the show is almost throwaway. If you got two hours, you got less nonsense. Get all the good stuff in. Right. So that's what they should do with that. So, you know, by the way, uh, Cauliflower Alley Club was uh, yeah. this week, right? Okay. What do you know about Cauliflower Alley Club? I know that it's 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 a very tight knit group that celebrates the true traditions and, and legacies of professional wrestling. So, like I anything in wrestling, you know, everybody out there, and I'm going to clearly say this. Okay. You when if you first get into this <clears throat> into this genre mm-hmm. that we're in. Yeah, and we, you know, we started off what two years ago. Mm-hmm. Didn't really know much, right? And you know, we were taught fairly quick. Or did we get a crash course? You know, yeah. from mm-hmm. some of the freaks we've run into sure. from time to time. Oh, some. So the cauliflower alley club was like, you were prestigious, right? You were like, if you go to the cali cauliflower alley club, okay, 
you're really, you know, you're, you're, you're doing you're something in. right. You're, you're in doing, that family, right? You're doing something right, yeah. Mm-hmm. But, you know, then you sit there and then you start to find out things and then you start seeing these people that you've kind of run in through our travels. Yeah. They're at the Cauliflower Alley Club. You're like, right. wow, these guys are in? Like, right. These guys, like, if you people out there watching, if you saw some of these people, they're friggin' fucking losers. Right. Okay. Losers that's, that's, with a fucking capital yeah, L. That's fair. That's it's more fair. than fair. It's fact. Yeah. Oh, well, so I thought fair. to myself, you know, how the fuck are they in the Cauliflower Alley Club? Mm-hmm. But then, you know, as you learn, and I started investigating. Yeah. Because uh, big fat whales over there. Oh, now I'm not interested in them at all. Well, the thing is. Good job, Mike. Do you know what I found out? What's that? I found out in order to be part of the Cauliflower Alley Club, you yeah. have to pay $300 a year. Really? Membership. That's nice. Three hundred dollars a year. That's nice. And that doesn't even guarantee you anything. So you get to go, and you still have to buy a ticket to it. Right. Where everybody sells your, their gimmicks. You have to pay for your own chicken wings. I don't know. I have no idea. But all I'm saying is, I always, I would. When me and Jimmy first started off, right? We we just did it. Shits and giggles. Show started picking up momentum, mm-hmm. and some of these people had these award shows, and Jimmy, Jimmy. Go tell the story about the award show. Oh, Don't name the show, but just no, like, no. It, 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 there was the, this award show, and, and I remember you going, "Oh, let's 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 win this." And I said right on the air, "I'm like, what are we winning? What are you talking about?" Right. You know, and we've come across a lot of people who probably have uh, need for shoulder scrapage, you know, surgically from patting themselves on the uh, on the back. They give themselves fake awards and, but, you know, like, or they hel- hold awards I wanted and to, no one votes. I, I thought this. Or they hold awards and the people who won the award don't come. Right, right. I mean, what the, what the fuck is going but, on there? But my whole point was, like, I wanted to win that award because I wanted this show to grow and it was getting momentum. Yeah, but, like, that, yeah. but guess what? That's how stupid I am. That that award meant nothing. Didn't mean you were stupid. And I, you know, I thought to myself two years ago, man, we really arrived if we could get invited to the Cauliflower Alley Club. Why did this never occur to me? Like we've really arrived if we get an invite from people who charge three fifty a year. Well, that's the that's the joke about it. It's right. just nothing but gimmick right. after gimmick. Of course, but people act like it's important. Right. Oh, Wait, I went to the college. Do they actually alley have club. a membership card and stuff like that? I don't know, dude. This I don't is know. We're not members. To really repulse me. I mean, I was like, hi, I'm. Well, no, it, the better thing is, like, hi, I'm part of the Cauliflower Alley Club. Well, so could I if I paid $300. What about the most... Who of, could it be? What about the most offensive thing that we've really seen? Why don't we just go straight just to... Just go straight Let's to, go straight to the What the fuck, place, right? Okay? Do it. Yeah. You know, some of these folks who have wrestled in front of, like, four people, I'm in the business. <laughs> yeah. Well, can I please... Please. It's they, a, the, right, there you go. The show is yours. There you go. There you go. You're in the business. Yeah. I'm in the business. You're in the business. I'm in the right. business. Right. Or, hey, I went to a convention and had a wrestler chop me. I'm in the business. Well, how about this? You fucking hey, gotta be kidding me. I write for some freaking stupid ass internet thing that I call pro wrestling whatever. I don't care because there's a million of them. Yeah. Pro wrestling gar- garage, pro wrestling cover sheets, pro wrestling up my right. ass. Right. It's like... Oh, I'm a writer. Right. I'm, in the business. I'm in the business. I can write too. Right. Oh, look okay, out! I'll write a story. Right. Whoop de doo. Right. I'll write right. a story hey, about hey, hey. Boris Zukov in the AWA when he yeah. lost his tooth. Yeah. You know, I mean, come on already yeah. with this hey, nonsense. Hey, Monty and the Pharaoh, who Ken Patera compared us to, like guys like Bobby the Brain Heenan. Hey, Monty and the Pharaoh, who Sam here compares to Howard Stern. Yeah, right. Hey, Monty and the Pharaoh, let me write your questions for you. Wait, wait. <laughs> Oh, here I go again. Do you remember that guy? No. Do you remember I that guy? I do. I remember the absurdity, but I don't remember the so guy. So Jimmy doesn't want to go down a row, Bob, to go down a row. We met a guy who wrote for one of those stupid internet things. Like, if you guys watch it out there, you could just look it up. There's, like, people don't write bother. stories all the time. Don't bother. Don't bother. The guy who goes, I would like to be your writer for the show. I will write your questions. You'll write the questions for us. And we were like. we don't have a clue. Yeah, obviously. and we're like, shut you up. Know? Well, thank God we've got you to go to. <laughs> You know what I mean? Because after all, you know. But anyway, wow. that was my lesson on the joke. Cauliflower Alley Club. What a joke. What? That was my lesson on the yeah. Cauliflower Alley well, Club. Well, you know what my lesson is? Is you ain't getting my $350 and enjoy telling each other that you're in the business. Yeah, Have like, a nice day. Pay $350, you know? fly your ass to Vegas, right? rent a hotel room, right? and go watch what? I don't know. I don't know. Go to a place where people, and you got to buy a ticket to go right. in. And then buy people's gimmicks? Well, maybe if you're lucky, somebody will chop you. That's an expensive little what? trip. Yeah. To do what? I don't know. To say I was part of the Cauliflower yeah. Alley Club? Yeah, I'm part of uh, whatever. I don't know. I'm, I would be more excited about being a member of the Kiss Army, quite honestly. 
Now, I'd fly to go be part of the Kiss Army. I yeah, was hell in the yeah. Kiss Army. What are you talking Damn about? Damn straight. I got a patch, and I got a concert book, and I got a shirt, and it didn't cost me $350. Damn straight. They cost me 5 Damn straight. $5. I got all those things from Gene and Paul. Cauliflower Alley. Happy boy. Yom Kippur, Gene Simmons, and Paul Stanley. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, the Cauliflower what? Alley Club was what? built to help the, the poor wrestlers that their medical isn't any good. Well, at least there's something there. Hey, I ain't gonna say shit about that. At least there's something there. What do you mean? They don't give it to. Well, them? pay for what? Pay for? I don't know whether they give it to them or not. What? Pay for Wait the guys who burned the off. Pay the guy. I don't know what Pay that for is. the guys who burnt their money away. Their millions and millions of dollars. Oh, oh! I can't afford my medical anymore. I used it all already. Oh, let me well, use your money. You know whose fault that is? That's obviously Vince's fault. No, no, it's obviously you know and I the mean. fans' fault too. I'm being too. sarcastic. That's the fans' yeah. fault too. Right. 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 Oh, oh, yeah. You know, 802 yeah. Blues has to give his money to right. superstar Billy Graham. Right. You, wait Please. a minute. It doesn't have to. He better. Because Bill, Billy Graham said if you don't give him money, he's unfriending you. Oh, that's right. Remember that guy? Dick. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> Woo. Oh, 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 but he, you know, he was champion back in the day. You better give him irreversible, unconditional respect. Dick. Dick. Superstar Billy Graham. Big dick. It's a loony land. Yeah, it is a loony land. Say what you Alexa want. Alexa Bliss stuns. Cool.